Welcome to NHL 17 ESHL game as we get another game going from Montreal as the Philadelphia Bullies take on, we're going to call them the Oilers, Jackman and Miguel face off, Irwin and Philadelphia in their last game at home won their game in overtime 2-1. And now, they're trying to make it two in a row. Record is 41 and 32 in the season. Trying to stay red hot as the playoffs get underway. Four days, Christmas Day. And here comes Miguel. Drops it off to his brother Julio. Julio, with, oh, deflected, and Carter with a big-time save. Wow. Carter made a spectacular save there because I don't know how he got that one. And that should have been offside, but Philadelphia's defense is there. And I, there might be a penalty coming up. Miguel, oh, and Julio, oh, oh, Miguel cannot pounce on that rebound. And back comes the Oilers the other way. The Oilers looking across in a shot at Nicholas with the save there. And the Philadelphia buddies trying to keep the momentum going to their last game. And they look. Oh, and Julio with a good pass to his brother. And a cross and a shot. And Carter with the save. So Philadelphia is trying to get this 1-0 lead early. And they have the Oilers here. All like shooken up on defense because, man, they're all over the place. And again, oh, almost had a steal and a shot and a save. Here comes Julio, two on two. He makes a beautiful move. Julio with a backhander and a save by Carter. Wow. Julio with a good dangle there. Made a beautiful move with a then with a backhander shot. Carter makes the save there. And Julio steals it in a shot. Wow. Philadelphia. Oh, and another turnover. And a shot away and wide from Carter. Philadelphia pressuring early here in this one. And a shot, Nicholas, with the glove save there. And Miguel's trying to say, get the fuck away from my goalie. Nine and a half minutes left. Eight shots to two already for Philly. And again, Philadelphia defensively trying to get to it. And they, t they cannot. They got to get the puck. That one is... And Nicholas... And right there, Nicholas almost looked like he tried to get to the puck and bring it back to himself, but almost... Almost could have put it in the own net. And a face-off one. And here comes Julio... Julio makes a move. And oh my God, with a shot. Carter closes the legs really quick. And makes the save. Seven and a half. Of a scoreless game here. And a face off one. And a shot. Julio, he gets a shot in Carter. Again. And another shot and a save. And here come back the Oilers the other way. And again, trying to get it going. Back to the point. Looks across. Oh, and a save. Back. Oh, and a good hit by Miguel. Back the other way they go. Here comes Miguel in Philadelphia. Trying to skate it up. Julio trying to get to it. Miguel gets hit. Again, back, looks, and a shot that's blocked in front. Miguel gets it to his brother, but it hits off his stick. 
And now back comes the Oilers the other way. Looks across. He gets a shot. And here comes Julio. Gets it to his brother Miguel. Two and a half minutes left. And again, Miguel gets hit off the puck. And back they go. Looks across. Back. And a backhander. And an easy save by Carter. But the rebound was there. And a the shot save. Oh, and a turnover by Philadelphia. And here they come back the other way. Two on two. Developing. Miguel. He gets a shot. And a save. Oh, and Julio. Oh, he scores. And it is one nothing, and that was a mistake there. You do not want to let that puck out in front of the net. And that is what the Oilers did there. And Miguel pounced on that one. Yeah. And it gives them that one and important one nothing lead. But both teams are playing well. And McKenzie picks it up and he gets a shot in his block. That should end the period. And it does. So after end of one, just like in last night's game, Philadelphia goes in with a one nothing lead. Now the thing is, they need to keep the they need to keep the pressure going. They cannot relax on a one nothing lead but this is this is the way it went in it is one nothing Philadelphia so let's look at the stats 14 shots to 4 Philadelphia completely dominating this game on the shots up by 10 the attack time in favor of the Oilers but still you know you you have to you have to get it. And right now, fill it up. Philadelphia is uh, trying to make it two in a row. And here we go. Start of the period. one nothing. Face off one by Miguel. And he gets it and pounce on it early. Miguel, he gets the shot, but it is. Oh, and a breakaway chance. Here they go. He makes a move and a save by Nicholas. Oh, and here comes Miguel trying to get it to his brother. And he does. Julio, he gets it. Scores. And it is a 2 nothing lead. That trickered in. And Philadelphia... Like I said, they had to come in in this in the second period with that mentality that they were down. And that one is blocked. Here they come. This a broken stick. Looks. Julio trying to get it to his brother. And oh, cannot. And Julio trying to get there. And again, back. Hit a shot. He scores. Two quick goals. Hit the Y button. And it is a 3 nothing lead. Wow, Philadelphia said, I'm not going into overtime. And they are coming out here with the, the gas, their foot on the gas pedal. Because, oh, and they're coming out. Swinging. Miguel, he gets a shot. Save. And trying to get it to his brother from behind the net. And again, look at Julio. And a... Oh, most eternal. Oh, and he and Miguel hits him. So it is three nothing. Two quick goals. Face off, tie up. Miguel trying to get to it, gets it. Oh, and Julio trying to get it, but he could not. Here it comes back the other way, the Oilers. And the defense there is tight. Philadelphia looks. Oh, and a good poke check. And a penalty coming up. Tripping might be the call. We're going to see what the call is here. As. It's like in a. Uh, yeah, slash, actually. As Connor McDave is going to ride the pine for two minutes. And here comes the man advantage. 
And here they go back the other way. And again, turnover mistake made by Philly. Back the other way. Here comes Miguel. Skating it tough. Miguel looks. Oh, turns it over. And Irwin sends it all the way down. And here they come. Back the other way. Oh, another penalty coming up. And another two-man advantage. So now it's a five-on-three for 45 seconds. And Philly really needs to capitalize. And a shot. Julio misses. Wow. Had a chance to make it 4 nothing, And they don't. And here they come. It's numbers. Philadelphia looks. Miguel stops. Looks. He winds, fires, rebound, and a shot in Carter. Oh, sh shit. Makes two good saves there. Man. 11 minutes even as Malkenzie had a chance at the rebound there. Face off one. And a shot. Wow. Back around the net. Miguel looks to his brother. Fuck my life, here, bro. Looks back, setting it up. Oh man, good puck movement there by Philly, but could not get the shot. Oh, look at Julio Pasquet and everyone. Julio to his brother Miguel. Oh, Carter with the save. Julio could not get it. Back, he scores. Deflection. It is four nothing. Another mistake made there. Do not let the puck out like that. Right here, look, he lets it out. McKenzie with a shot and Julio just deflects it in. And it is for nothing. Julio with his third of the night. And that. Josh. And that's. Oh, and a shot that went wide. Here it comes. Back the other way to go. Shot. Oh, Philadelphia could not get to that puck. Nope. I don't think. Oh, and Carter. McKenzie. Oh, cannot. Back the other way to go. Looks, looks, looks across. Oh, and Miguel trying to get it there. Oh, and a fan. Misses on that fan. Back they go, Philadelphia, with good puck movement here. And the defense is playing well. Off a 4 nothing lead here. They turn it over, and here comes Philadelphia the other way. Miguel, he won. He takes a blast. And a save, and they, oh, another mistake. I'm telling you. Look at this guy laying in the middle of the ice. And here comes Philly the other way. And trying to get it to Julio there was Miguel. And again, Elliot back the other way they go. Back. And again. Miguel, oh, trying to stop there and at a dime and get it to his brother there. But could not any score. Rousey with a goal. And that was just a three-goal deficit. That was a blast. He gets something the fans to cheer about. And Rousey and McDave with the assist. And here they go. Back. And oh, Julio with a shot. And again, Philadelphia trying to get to it. Oh, and a bad mistake there. And here they go. He gets a shot. And now he holds on to that. It's Carter. 2.3 seconds left in this second period of a 4-1 game. And here goes Miguel. The hit parade continues for this guy as he is hitting everybody here in this game, just like last night's game in overtime, he was hitting anything and everything that moved. 
Face off one shot, and that'll end the period. But Julio with three goals in the second period. And that gives Philadelphia a 4 nothing lead. But Rousey makes it a three-goal deficit. As we get ready here for the third. And we look at the stats here. Just in... Just in the summer. For the Oilers. The fuck? Here goes a shot, but that one is blocked. Look at Julio. Julio looks. Julio with a shot. Oh my. It went past the crease. And Miguel again. Trying to throw his weight in. Julio picks it up. Julio gets hit. And they're keeping it in. Look at that. The defense is unreal right now. Oh, and a shot and oh. Two quick saves there. And they turn it over. And they do not want to do that. And here comes Julio skating it up. Julio. Oh, and he cannot. Wow. Oh. That was a beautiful pass. And Miguel got it there to him. Still a 4-1 game. And a shot. And Nicholas with a big save there. And here they come. They got numbers. If they can get it. Back. Oh, trying to get it to his brother there. But could not. Stolen the other way. Miguel again. Here they go. Trying to get it going. Make that mistake. And he turns it around. Gets it. And Julio could not. Oh, and the defense is there. But they cannot get to the puck. And Nicholas with the save. And here comes Philly. Miguel skating it up. Miguel looks. And that one is hitting a shot and a save. I thought it was going to be a penalty there. The way Miguel looked like he tripped there. And again, here comes Julio. Julio skating it up. Julio cannot get to it. Or cannot make another pass there. It wasn't Miguel with another hit. Look at that. Bone crunching hit and they score. So now Philadelphia starting to lax on offense. And now it is a two goal deficit now. With about 10 minutes left in this third and final period. They need to hopefully hang on to this. And he's trying to get it to his brother again. And Julio could not get to it. He got the hit. But could not. Again, to Julio. Julio splits the defense and does not do anything with it. And a shot rebound in front. Oh, my. Back comes the Oilers the other way. And a shot. Slap shot City. And that is what's been keep getting the Oilers back into this one. Looks across. Oh, and uh, again, back the other way. Oilers moving it in. Miguel with an Oh and a shot up and over. Oh Miguel makes a move, but Elliot is there, does not fall for it. About four and a half minutes left. And Miguel oh could not get past the last two guys. Oh, what a hit. Wow. Was that, was that all? <laughs> ah. 
Mardell killed him. So here we go. Up two, and they send it all the way down. Julio clears it. So Miguel's probably going to be out for the next two minutes and come out with 30 seconds into the game, probably left. But uh, icing is the call here. 208 left in period number three. And here goes Julio with his stats. That's the first one for him. And then this one here, that's number two. And then deflection goal for the hat trick, number three. That has been the story right now. The scoring of Julio and a faceoff coming up. So two minutes left in this third and final period. Good defense by Julio as now he's trying to get this puck and kill some time. And he clears it out to the neutral zone. But the Oilers got it back. The Oilers look. They better be careful. And Oleski sends it all the way down. 29 seconds left in the man advantage. A minute left in the third period. Stevens again. Here comes Julio skating it up. Julio looks. Julio, he gets hit. And he gets tripped. No call there. So the man advantage expires in three seconds and Miguel will be out. And Miguel is out. And here they come back the other way. Here comes Sanders. Sanders. He gets a shot, but it's blocked. 27 seconds left. And the Philadelphia will win this game. 4-2. Slap shot. After the whistle was blown. Uh-oh, and here they go. They ain't like this. Julio said, hell that. You want to take a shot at my goalie? Let's do this. And Julio gets a shot in. Trying to block. And there goes a tangle up. And oh, Miguel's going to go at it now. I'm dipping. Like, what the fuck? Can't even win a fight to save my life. So two fights, and that'll end the night for both, for all four of these guys. As McDonald's like, you know what? He wanted to fight McKenzie, and Julio jumped right in and said, nah, the hell that, you fighting me. So here we go. So 12 seconds left. And this will give the bullies... Uh, consecutive win in as many nights. And there we go. And Nicholas holds on to that one. 2.4 seconds left. In this game here. So. Like right now. Philadelphia holding on to this. And a good win for them. After the overtime. One win. Last night. And a comeback and. The offense jumps in the second. That'll end the game. Philadelphia behind Julio's hat trick. And Miguel's goal. Win this game. As they gave up two late goals in the second. Well, one in the third and one in the and One in the second and one in the third. But. They hang on. As they win it big in Montreal. Right there, that's Rousey's goal. And right here, Julio connected with a goal. That was the game winner, actually. 4-2 to two win for the Bullies. Until next time, see you on the next telecast of ESHL 17.